In St. Cloud, a fire at a Salvation Army shelter forced dozens of people out of the place they call home. The sprinkler system did its job quickly putting out the flames and nobody was seriously hurt. But it was that sprinkler system that caused most of the damage. Ben Henry tells us about the work ahead and how you can help. The sounds of the holiday season were met with the alarms of an emergency. Particularly sad to me, this was our family lounge. We had lots of toys and furniture. And For the St. Cloud Salvation Army. As you can see, uh, it's gone, so. Lieutenant Nathan North says much of their emergency shelter will need a full renovation following a fire Monday. North said he got the call at 4 a.m. It just, it makes your heart sink. This is the space that the fire started. You can see some of the smoke. The cause is still under investigation. The St. Cloud Fire Department said the sprinkler system yeah. contained the fire to one room. It was the water that did most of the damage. There's water dripping from the ceiling, right? There's, uh, you look around and the, the drywall is just soaked. The carpet, like you can't even like walk in without feeling that squishing feeling under your feet. North says 40 people who called this home. It gets worse as, as you go on. Had to leave. Unfortunately, our shelter becomes unsafe to, to be in until we can assess everything. So unfortunately, it displaces all of our residents that are here with us. Oh, it's terrible. Pastor Carol Smith. It's terrible. With Place of Hope Ministries also got a call that morning. They were so grateful. Quickly taking in as many as they could. We were able to get our facility a floor ready that we were not occupying at the moment, uh, miraculously. She says pillows, blankets, and bedding would be warmly welcomed. And now we're just trying to provide what we can for support this holiday season. Information on how to help Pastor Carol will be found on this story on KSTP.com. As for how to help the Salvation Army, for now, as they still figure some things out, they want to hold off on the physical donations, but say filling up those red kettles always helps. In St. Cloud, Ben Henry, 5 Eyewitness News.